good afternoon so today we will be discussing about a different type of position fixing method by using the range and bearing of an object using the radar basically this is an easy way during night time so how to do it is you should observe the object on your radar remember if it is a beacon it's very easy because you will be getting the morse code on your radar screen if it is a raycon you'll just get the object so you take the range and bearing of the object using the epl and vrm or if it is since it is a small uh, object even if you plot that object on your radar it will be giving you a range and bearing or just if you just use the cursor and place it on top of the object again you will get the range and bearing so identify the object on the chart find it out on the on your radar screen take the lat long and sorry take the range and bearing and go back to your chart find out where that raycon or beacon or lighthouse is take a range and bearing that you observed from your radar from onto the chart and the point where the ra the radar range and bearing cuts on your course is your position so i'll be showing you an example as practical remember this has to be a radar conspicuous object if it is not radar conspicuous it it is very difficult for you to get it so i'll show you in practical later in this video thank you so in continuation about range and bearing how to plot it i'm going to show you this is angsa bank beacon you can see the beacon it's a north cardinal mark so we are somewhere around this position and it is night time i'll show you how it looks how the flashes appear at night this is the pulau angsa bank beacon you can see the continuous flashing the flashing light is the beacon it's night time so i'll show you around it is around 2:30 in the morning so this is the night time view of the radar you can see the angsa bank beacon appearing on the radar it is exactly on the pointer so the range and bearing of that beacon is 2.08 and 174.7 the current position is so this is the angsa bank it is a north cardinal mark and it's a fixed mark so you can see the star here so as per our radar the range and bearing was 2.08 and 174.7 and gps position was this so let us check how much how the position is going to come up so i am going to take the bearing and range from this angsa bank light so it is 174.7 it 174.7 I'll transfer it. And two decimal zero eight, two decimal zero eight. This is one mile, two mile, and zero eight. It's not even point one. So two decimal zero eight. And from the center of the star, I'll plot the position. That is my. radar position you can see this is the bearing and this is the range this is the radar position and my gps lat long where 100 degree 59.87 minutes east so 50 59.87 this is 59.5678 and Nine, so eight seven comes somewhere here, and 
latitude was 3 degree 22 decimals north so 3 degree 22 is 3 degree 22 21 22 3 degree 22 minutes north so this is my GPS position you can see the difference is less than one cable there is there will be a small error when the point the bearing is in points so that is acceptable so this is how you will fix your position you can see this is the radar range and bearing and this is the GPS position less than one cable is the difference so I believe you understood how to fix your position using the range and bearing from an conspicuous object using the radar thank you